welcome back to my channel so today I decided to film my makeup base routine so that includes foundation contour and highlight so I wanted to film this video to kind of do more of an in-depth on how I do my base for now anyways it changes all the time so it's nice to like I know keep track of how you do your makeup and I'll probably look back and think oh my god that was awful but Right now, this is what I do. We're starting off with primer. Oh my god, it's raining so much. And I think with hail. <laughs> and my dog just quickly ran. So we're starting off with primer. What your primer usually does is create a barrier between your foundation and your skin that always makes me feel better knowing that my foundation isn't clogging my pores as much but then some primers do clog your pores so and so with that barrier it does control your oils and smooths out your actual skin and so that makes your foundation look more flawless and easier to apply so depending on your skin type you will need to get a Primer that would suit it. Depending on your primer, your foundation might look a bit different. Also depends on the look you're going for. That's how you determine what kind of primer you would get. I'm using the Professional by Benefit. I've used this for quite a while now. I don't like to jump from one product to another. I like to use up a product and really get to know how it works and how I like it. And then I will decide if I want to repurchase it, want to try another product. So I'm going to apply that with a foundation brush. My favorites are usually Kabuki brushes because you can really buff in that product. And oh my god, can I stop saying product? Because that's getting really annoying. So dotting it on my face, buffing it in. I really like silicone type primers. I think they're not good for your skin, but they just make your skin look so flawless and like your pores filled. And it's just perfect when you apply the foundation. It doesn't work for all skin types though, so you really have to figure out what you like. I love the smell of this primer too. So my skin feels so smooth. That's like the perfect base for the foundation. The foundation I'm using is the Calvin Klein foundation in Toasted. I normally get a foundation that's one shade lighter than my skin. I like my face to look a little lighter than my body because naturally my face is lighter than my body because of all the skincare that I apply, exfoliating, and the makeup also protects my face from the sun and so it kind of keeps it lighter. I've always liked matte foundations because even the Metis foundation couldn't keep my oily skin at bay I would still get really oily 30 minutes after applying my foundation so I gravitated towards really matte foundations and mattifying powders but recently I'm 23 now and I've noticed that my skin is not as oily as it used to be it's still oily it looks more dewy throughout the day instead of oily so i've been liking that the foundation used to break apart so much because of how oily it is and so i would always apply so much products in there to stop it from breaking apart in the middle of the day instead of like the end of the day so this foundation was given to me by a friend an infinite hydration moisturizing foundation this foundation is something I would normally hide away from. The skin type that I have now, it really just makes me look fresh, dewy, with mattifying powder and my skin type. I don't think it makes me look really matte even in the beginning of the day. It lasts really well throughout the day. So again, foundations are really complicated a topic so you just have to find the right one for your skin type and you just have to find a way to make it work throughout the day it could look perfect during the first few hours but 
it probably won't last the whole day so you just really have to figure it out it needs to work properly with your primer and your powders and even highlights and contours it needs to kind of blend in together yeah find a foundation that works perfectly with your routine your skin type the look you're going for and how long you're going to be using it where you're going to be using it oh so anyway enough rambling applying my foundation with the same brush so this is my favorite way to apply my foundation with a kabuki brush because it really does buff in that foundation buff it in together with the primer and it just has a really smooth finish so what i do is dot it on my face and then just press it in and then buff so you don't want your foundation sitting on top of your skin you really want it to blend into your skin so if you're having trouble trying to get your foundation to look flawless you should look into what way you're applying your foundation because that's a really big factor that i didn't know back then and again how your foundation work together with the rest of the products that you use on your face with how many layers i apply it really depends on what i'm doing where i'm going how long i want it to last how my skin is looking that day so if i have really bad skin then i'll apply more products than usual if i have really good skin then i'll apply less sometimes if i'm not doing much and i'm doing only like one thing something really quickly then i'll apply like a really light layer Sometimes I'll apply three layers if I've got bad skin, if I want it to last till evening. So just blending it out around my jaw and dragging it down towards my neck to kind of just blend that and make it look like I don't have a mask on. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So I'd say it's a full one layer. I can still see my freckles. I can still see like discoloration. I can still see my skin but at the same time it's more covered more blurred out and more flawless more even more moisturized i feel moisturized i think that's the foundation but if i don't set this then it's gonna start looking more wet my oils are definitely gonna start coming through